Uh, what do you think about Aunt Sandy telling us there ain't no fishing here anymore? <gasps> oh my God. What did you do? Got anything to say to Sandy? We're real, we're real, Sandy. It's like this pond is wanting to send out a message today to my Aunt Sandy. Oh, oh, is that your fish? Is that your fish right there? This one, is this the fish you were looking for? Anything you want to say to Sandy? Don't ever doubt us. Don't ever doubt us. Oh my God, you got a bass, dude, you got a bass. Oh my keep God. your rock tip up, keep your rock tip up. Oh my God, oh my God, dude. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Dude! Dude! Sandy, he's our fish in here! <laughs> You're only nine years old. I'm 39. I got 30 years more experience. You're not supposed to be beating me like this. Oh, I am, Man, I sure wish y'all had been home. <sighs> and I do have permission to be here. <laughs> but neither one of them's here to unlock the gate for us. I'm filming again, just to let y'all know. <laughs> and you see, we're at Uncle Sammy's. There's my, there's my dad. I decided to start this video. I suck at holding a camera. I don't know if y'all can hear me, cause I don't know, I'm not that good at it. What? <laughs> Welcome. To go back to another video. I don't know really. I just want to see if I can do it. What? Hey, you can do it. Guys, it has been over 20 years since I have thrown a line out into that water that you see right there behind me. You see, I'm at my aunt and uncle's house, and years and years and years ago when I was just a little boy, they lived in that house right there. And I used to come right down there on that point. I threw out there. I've reeled in bass. I've reeled in sunfish. I've reeled in some beautiful specimens. But many, many years ago, this thing dried up. And it's not very deep. But Uncle Sammy told me to come on over. And that I needed a weed eater to get in here. And told me it came in to try it out. So we're about to go over here and grab our rod and reels. And we're going to ease down in there. And we're going to see what we can find 20-something years later. And dude, what do you think about Aunt Sandy telling us there ain't no fishing here anymore? Well, I say we go in here and prove her wrong. What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. You watch this, Sandy. We'll show you. I believe there is fishing there. What do you say, buddy? Yeah. All right, let's go find out. Where you want to go in at, man? Uh, right here or over there. Okay, dude. We really, really, really need to watch for snakes. Hey, let's go right down here in the middle so that we can throw up that way where we see those yeah. fish. When I get in there, I'm gonna grab that plant on that stick, you see it? Like Maybe. That. What? What now? You see that plant right there in the water right there? Yeah, and where are you gonna put it? It's just a piece of grass. Oh, Guys, we do see some small fish over there. Let's see if we can get in over here and throw over there at that way to them. Let me leave my key fob over here. I got it in my, uh, Ouch. yep. I don't think anything else will hurt if it gets wet. Come in, buddy. Hmm. All right, you wanna follow me? Yeah. Let me look for snakes. Let's just see how muddy this is. Oh, man. Hang on, dude, that's gonna be, I can already tell. That's going to be like mega, mega, mega muddy. Let's go on over here. I see over there. You see that? I know, man. Where I want to go. Well, we can try. That's the best spot. I don't see any other spots. Well, I mean, we can get in at multiple places here. But like I'm saying, that is like the super duper duper soft mud. You want to go out on the log? You want to go out on the log here? Or over there on that shore. That, that shore over there would be a foothill. I was thinking about going on the log up there. All right. Mm -hmm. 
I'll let you come on out here as well and you let me know where you want to cast. That way I'm not blocking you. Come on out here to where you got good balance. You want to go from right there? Try to watch them limbs now. Broke it off on the very first cast. No, it's still on. Got moss on it. Who's going to be the first one to prove Sandy wrong? We can't let Sandy prove us wrong. Ah, oh, man, we're in too many weeds over here for these beetle spins, I think. You're gonna have to lead the way, I guess. Oh, I just had a bass hit right there, son. Oh, I just had two fish come out that right there. Come out of this tree. We may have to throw a plastic on. Yeah. Put one on the board. Put one on the board. Here, you want to step? You want to step out there? There's a there was a bass that hit. Do you want to step out there and, and yeah. you got to really watch your lure now, uh -uh. or you'll get it hung up. Really watch it. You got to watch it. That bass hit right there. Do you see those limbs in the water, dude? Yeah. Watch out for them. Where do you want me to cast? Just kind of straight out there in front of you, but you really got to watch your lure and try not to let it hit those underground, uh, excuse me, underwater limbs. Almost said underground. Oh. Yeah, bass came up and bumped mine. Just right over in there. Made us have to rig us up something weedless. I'm not stopping you from going over there. That was for sure a bass that hit the first time though. Yeah. Because I seen it. <gasps> oh my God. What did you do? How did you do that? Be careful, be careful. Oh my God, just reach down and get the rod tip there and be careful picking it up. Be careful picking the rod tip up. Get the rod, don't get the line, get the rod. What are you thinking, dude? I couldn't get it. What do you mean you couldn't get it? Why would you even drop it? I've never seen anybody do that. Except for Tommy McCulley. Uh, an old neighbor of mine and I couldn't believe him when he did that day, I'm like, Oh, wow. Well, how would you I just lose hold of a fishing rod? I don't understand. Can you explain what happened to the viewers? Uh, so when I casted, I tripped. I was tripped, so I tried to catch uh, my balance, but then I, uh, I dropped the fishing rod. Let me show you where this bass was. Right there. Well, if that had been at the river right then, this thing would have been gone. At what river? If we would have been at the river right then when you dropped this rod and reel, it would be gone right now. Here. How you know? Stop asking me how I know something when I'm telling you what'll happen. It had been down in deep water and you'd never been able to get it. Where you want to go? Go by me? Go ahead. You got to watch for snakes though, man. I 
I got bites all the way through there at the end. I have a little one. I see a bass right out there right now. So you want to try to get in over here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me go first. We might go over here and sink in the mud. Oh man. What? You see this mud, dude? I don't even want to go out there on that mud. It's too soft. I don't like mud like that. You can come stand right here by me. I, got, I just had a hit right there. Little one. Oh, another hit. Two hits in a row. With no fish to show for it. Come on, I hope you get yours. Man, I'm going to get my feet out of this sun before they get uh, fried. Huh? Yeah, we'll leave here in a minute. Come on, fish. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Sandy, there is fish in the pond, my dear. There is fish in the pond, Sandy. Um, do you have anything to say to my Aunt Sandy? We're here. We're here. Do not fear. We don't want to hurt you. We can live in harmony. I believe the score is now... Two to nothing for the Blingerman. Just had one running with it too. That's a nice cast. They're out there in the middle. <laughs> what? I had one chasing mine right there, little bitty one. Wish we could get one of those bass to hit, but we may need a different lure. Man, you almost fell in the pond. Oh, you had a fish after yours? Ah. Dude, I probably wasn't your age or a little bit older the last time I fished here. Honestly, it's been that long. So 30 years old? 30 years ago? It's probably been 20 something at least. Possibly 30. Can we move to another spot? When you come out of weeds like that, a lot of times you'll just do this right here. Knock your legs off like that. Yeah. If there is a tick or something, you'll knock it off. Ooh, something moving right there. Whoa. See? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's fish out there. There's a bass right there. A little one. Got him. Son, you got you got to lift up high and wind fast to get up out of the grass like that. Sorry, should have told you. Sandy, there's the third reason to believe there is fish inside here. <laughs> I don't know if Cayman believes it. Dang, son, what kind of cast you call that? Was that the Gilmore? Yeah, get your rod tip up high when you get over here and get ready to take it out. Like this. Let me like this. That's it. Here, hold mine. I 
I thought that was our neighbor, Mr. McCoy. It looked just like him. Here you go. We may need us a weightless. Here you go. No, I don't want to switch. I like my reel. No, you're used to your reel. I like my reel. Same bait, same rods, different reel. Yeah, throw into that opening straight through there. Try not to go through the grass, try to throw between the grasses. Do you want something for bass on there? Daddy Green honestly might be good right here if you think you can not get him hung up. Yeah. You get down here and feel how mushy this is, like I'm telling you. Just had a bite right then. I just had a bite right then, two bites. Had I been brown? No, I watched the fish hit it, son. So you're throwing over the grass. I'm throwing in clear pockets of grass. Throw straight up through there in that opening right there. Okay. Yeah. That's a good cast. You might get a fish if you get it over that stick in time. Let's go up through here and see if we can find a place to cast in. Whoa. Go ahead. Son, oh, that's wide open, buddy. Anywhere you want. What you got? Did you just, uh, you proved to Sandy there he is fishing here? Huh? So what you just did? Yeah. What do you got to say to her? You heard her on the phone tell us there wasn't no fish in here. I didn't hear it. <laughs> she didn't want you to have that memory. <laughs> Sandy, why didn't you want him catching that? <laughs> oh, man. It's on bluegill. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Bluegill. I thought that's what they call a red wrist. You got to get the hook out of its mouth. It's a hook at. There you go. Mike, throw that thing like while this is on. No, I'll Hold my rod. Big. Hold my rod. What? Hold my rod. They really are big fish in the pond that's up in the woods that feeds this. You have to make sure you're, um, you really need to make sure that your line's not tangled up because it may be where we just let that down. You're on the board, Champ Donald. Three to one. Did you break it? Huh? You want to have to break it though? Here. You about ready to go? Yeah. All right. Here. Get my rod. Okay. Well, I hate to do this. What? I hate to break off a beetle spin. There it went. Adios, beetle spin. There's two beetle spins I lost this week. That's two more beetle spins than I've wanted to lose ever. That beetle spin was trash. Oh, was it? It only caught me one fish. Huh? It only caught me one fish today. Here. Let's, let's let you, you think you can throw Daddy Green or somebody out there one time without letting him get tangled up? Huh? Yeah. Which one's the original Daddy Green? I, re I had to replace the hooks on him, so it's that one right there. I see the replaced hooks. Okay. I got time on, but dude, if you lose this one, you probably might go out there and get it. You don't want to lose Daddy Green, do you? You got a lot of memories with this guy. 
Why? Wait, well, he green. Only one lure there's the daddy. So it's safe to say that this one here is your favorite lure? Yes. Yeah, that's and popped that line. I rid of that beetle spin for on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Threw it out there at a limb and just try to get hung up real good and just you know break it off. I want to put daddy green on it. There's people going to burn in hell for stuff like that. What? There's people going to burn in hell for stuff like that. Burn in hell? Yeah. What does that mean? People that lose beetle spins on purpose go to that place they say called hell. Hell fire. Be down there burning in hell for getting beetle spins hung up intentionally on limbs. I heard every word of your story. I was listening. You just damaged the wheel. You just threw that thing down on. Saw you. There you go, buddy. I wouldn't take it somewhere to get it hung up. Yeah. Better watch him if you wind him fast. He'll go too deep. See, that's what I'm saying. Daddy Green is a legend and always will be. Are you Daddy kidding me? Daddy First cast? Man, Daddy Green means business. How many you got now? Two? Yeah. And I got four? No, three. Check it out, guys. Like Look at that fish, too. That fish oh, has got a nice color. color. No, I don't have red eyes. Oh, man. But Daddy Green is a treble hook. Oh, there you go. Man, that's a pretty crazy looking fish, actually. Look at those markings. Nice high back fin. Pretty cool fish, dude. Nice catch. Yeah. He barely even cast him. Look how far he goes. Yeah, he's got a lot more weight. Yeah. Oh. You got some stuff on there. Man, we're going to go and take a shower. Don't get it hung up on a limb now. I'm telling you. You don't want to lose your favorite lure. Huh? So you, the score is two to four still, correct? Yes. Don't make me tie on a plastic. I'll go over here and throw right out into those limbs. Okay, guys, I just came over here and tied on one of these tiny, tiny white finesse worms. Just wigged it up, wacky rig. Let's go over here and see if I can pull something out from these limbs. Over here on this tree that I was standing on whenever we first got here. Back over here where I seen that bass hit. Let's see. Here we go again. Pushing my luck for round two. Okay. Gonna have to be real careful. I don't wanna get it hung up. Oh, can you guys see that on camera? Oh, if there's a bass in there and he sees that, he ain't gonna be able to send it. A fish just took it. Not sure if you guys can see it on camera or not, but I did just have a fish take it. Fish just hit it again.
Okay, no sign of the bass on that cast. Just throw him right up in there. You just thought you was going to get away with my wacky worms, huh? Oh, Champ Blingerman just put number five on the board. Champ Blingerman getting things done. Nice colors. Got anything to say to Sandy? We're real. We're real, Sandy. It's like this pond is wanting to send out a message today to my Aunt Sandy, letting her know these fish do live here. Come on. Oh, you bringing Daddy Green out here on the log? Be careful now. Watch for the limbs. Oh, what we got here? Oh, what we got here? Number six. Oh, man. We may have found their kryptonite, son. the little tiny white finesse worms that most people use for like trout boom number six for blingerman this is how i got it rigged guys they're loving it i would love to pull that bass out of here to show everybody let me try to see if i can get him out of that hole right there nope haven't been able to get the bass's attention yet though, son. Oh, that was a terrible cast by me. But maybe I can get one right over there. Oh, I see the swirl right there. Is that your fish? Is that your fish right there? This one? Is this the fish you were looking for? This right here. Was this your fish? Number seven? Number seven. Man. Anything you want to say to Sandy? Don't ever doubt us. Don't ever doubt us. Mm. Number seven. Oh, man. Oh, man. He knocked my wacky rig. Pull him up. There we go. Get back down here. Man, Daddy Green goes a long ways. Only thing about throwing this little bitty wacky rig, it ain't got any weight, man. You have a fish? No. There's weeds. Well, can't really cast this out there at all. Oh, on and off, a little bitty one. You need to go over there and cast this wacky rig. You got one? Let it ease up, man. Don't. No, no, no. You don't whine so hard through that. That's where you're messing up. I'm, well, if you let off, it floats. So you're, you're reeling it in hot. The faster you reel Daddy Green, the deeper he goes. Mm. The slower you go, the more shallow he stays. You want to go throw this out there somewhere? I'll let you. I don't think you like that thing. Huh? I don't think it's that thing. You don't? Watch this. There might be a fish right there. Let's see if the wacky rig can pull it out. Did you see that? Yeah. Come on. You see that? You see that? Yeah. He's too small. <laughs> Anywhere there's one laying around, it can't resist this. You're welcome to go there and make a cast or two with it over there where we didn't try it much. Okay. 
Let me hold your rod. Yeah. I got you. Oh yeah, it is. Look at all those fish over there. Whoa, you know, a little. Huh? I'm trying. Okay. So you like don't even too much reel in. Yeah, you gotta let it sit. You gotta let it be sinking, and then you'll see it um, kind of just sinking, and then you just barely bump it, and it'll just go nuts. See if you can do anything with it. Yeah, need to get it under the water over there too. Yeah. Try to throw over there. Right there. I know. Try to throw over the top of him. You gotta let that thing sink now. Can he bite you? Let me see it so I can catch a fish real quick with it. Huh? What? I catch a fish over here, I bet. Yeah. Bump it. No, even easier, like twitching it. This thing is weird. I don't like using Daddy Green out here. I'm afraid I'm getting hung up. This thing is. Here. Okay. Don't do nothing. Whoa, where'd it go? I got it right down there. There you go. Okay. Me too. Oh my god, you got a bass, dude. You got a bass. Oh my Keep god. Keep your rock tip up. Keep your rock tip up. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. Dude. Sandy, is there fish in here? <laughs> oh my god, man. What a fish, dude. What a fish. On Daddy Green. Oh man. I'm having a time getting him out here for you. Hang on. Let me try to get these trevor looks out. I don't want them getting in your finger. Wow, dude. Wow. I need to get my phone out of my uh pouch here and see if uh, we can get a good picture of you with it oh my gosh that might make, might be my new world record oh my gosh man this thing is i know one thing he wasn't getting away from daddy green because i'm having a time getting him off here how how big do you think this is uh maybe two pounds two pounds yeah. no way this thing is two pounds well Let me see if I can... Oh, Dad, there's a, I think there's already one hook in it. You see it? No. What is that? I'm sure. Have you ever caught is this anybody else? Here you go, big boy. Okay. Make sure you got him good before you tell me to let him go. Okay. All right. Now, let no. me get my camera out. I'll take some pictures with you real quick. My. Wow. I'm just going to set Daddy Green down right there so he watch him. When you're holding your pictures, hold him up so you can see him from the side there. Like, hold him up. Hang on, just keep, just, just wait. I'll tell you, I'm getting the camera ready. Smile. Now, here's what I want you. I want you to hold him out in front of me, and I want you to hold him up to the side. See how you got him up and down now? Make him go sideways. Yep, and, and stretch him out in front of you. As far as your arms will stretch out, it makes the fish look even bigger. Smile big. Smile big. All righty. Look, you're just holding him up one Can you hold him up one-handed? To the side? To the side? And like, stick it up to the camera. Like, look at that. Got <laughs> okay, anything you want to say about that bass you just caught? That's insane. Dude, let's see it. Hold it up to the side here. Stick it up to the camera. Show the viewers. Wow. Now hold him up to the side there so everybody can see how big he is. 
one of your nicest ones ever here. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Look, guys. Like this, buddy. Look at that. That's how you want to show them. Check it out. Smile big. Smile big. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Here you go. You do the honors of letting him go. You caught him. All right. Great job, dude. Great job. And you caught him on your favorite lure, didn't you? Yep. Daddy Green does it again. Oh my God. So you want to make another cast or no? Yeah, I want to make another cast. <laughs> he says, yeah, I want to make another cast. I told you Daddy Green. Man. I think I won today. Don't you think? Yeah, for sure. If you would have just caught that one fish and I would have caught 20 of those little bitty ones, yeah. you would have won. Whoever catches the big bass wins, man. There you go, you're good to go. My rod's right behind you, I gotta grab it. Dude, what a fish. Okay. Man. When did you know that it was a big fish? Well, I, I, I then I heard about that clicking noise, like when. Yeah, you that know. where it was pulling the drag out. Yeah. Man, I'm just glad he didn't break the line. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad you caught that. And that thing hit not too far out, didn't it? Yep, yeah, you are. I may try to throw one more here. Let's see if I can pull one of these guys out of here. Oh, right there. That thing just broke my line. No, it got my worm. That's what happened. Dude, it didn't break my line. But look, guys, it took my whole freaking finesse worm off right there. What do you mean it couldn't have been that big? It was a bass. Should I throw one more out right there? It wasn't the hook. It got my worm off, I'm telling you. So guys, what I'm using right now is this Berkeley Power Bait. These are the 3 8 centimeter. Watch my rod there. But you can't get this one guy right here because there's only one of him. What, Daddy only, Green? Yeah, there's only one of him. There's only one. There's only one Daddy Green. They oh. broke the mold when they made Daddy Green, didn't they? What? They broke the mold when they made Daddy Green. Mm -hmm. Let's go throw this right back over there. And see if I can pull the bass out with it. See that big swirl right there at it, guys? Come on. That's a nice fish. Oh, oh yeah, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> he just threw mud all over my sunglasses. Well, that was number eight for me, though. I'd trade all eight of them for that one bass you caught. Oh, 
I thought you were in the grass. Well, I guess I'm ready if you are. Yeah. Almost got trapped. Okay. Well, at least we had some fun. Daddy, don't lose. Daddy, green, don't lose, huh, Daddy? <laughs> Man, that's a nice fish you caught. Yeah. Huh? All right. We got all our garbage, right? Yeah. Okay. I'd say it was only like a two pounder. That's what it was. That was no two pounder. Yeah. Get our phone out. We'll you get the other fish that we caught on camera was a two pounder. That, that one right there was like three times bigger than that one. Well, that was a two pounder. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let me get on this side of me so I can film you. Dude! How come you got to catch the big bass and I didn't get to catch the big bass? Well, you gotta have the, you gotta have my bait on. What bait? You can't use this bait. Dude, I had the good bait on. You had the trash bait on. Trash bait? Dude, we've been catching everything with the bait that I had on. Right. Unreal. I'm about tired of bringing you fishing with me and every time I bring you, you beat me. You're only nine years old. I'm 39. I got 30 years more experience. You're not supposed to be beating me like this. Unreal. Well, guys, we're making our way back over here to our truck. My aunt and uncle still haven't got back home yet. So I'm about to make myself as thin as possible and squeeze back out underneath that fence on this hot asphalt and get home and take a shower and get all these freaking chiggers and probably ticks off of us. Cayman, okay, anything you want to say to everybody before we leave? <laughs> guys thanks for joining us and we'll talk to each and every single one of you inside the next video and then let me hand this to you let me hand this to you heck no here <laughs> yeah, I got him uh, got him oh that asphalt is hot isn't it uh, Look at that, guys. Uh, it's Saturday. I ain't supposed to be having to crawl under places like this on Saturday. I do that through the week enough. Uh, here we go. Woo! Let's get home, get in the shower, my man.